Folks, it's Thursday and thought I'd give you a quick update for Mag in the Classroom. You know, one of the things that all of you are faced with at this time of year is wearing a number of different hats. So I thought I'd start off by wearing a different hat. Or my Panamanian hat. You know, it would have been it would have been easy to wear this last week when we were in Arizona in that hot uh, with those hot uh, rays of the sun beating down on us. But uh, yeah, I didn't have it back then. The interesting part about our Panamanian hat is and how it relates to agriculture. First off, it was made originally by weaving wheat straw together. So there's a little ag connection. And the second thing is our Panamanian hats, as we know them, really aren't Panamanian. They were made in Ecuador. Problem is with an Ecuadorian hat, not a lot of people visited Ecuador back at the 18, end of the 1800s, beginning of the 1900s. But a lot of people were going to Panama. Because at that time, in order to go from the east coast to the west coast, you could either take the dangerous journey by rail or get on a ship and go around the Cape of South America to go from east to west. But a number of people started stopping off in Panama, going as far as Panama, then traversing across the, what now be the Isthmus of Panama, now becoming the Panama Canal. And uh, they found these hats that the Ecuadorian people were there selling. They became a Panama hat and really importantly became Panamanian when President Roosevelt showed up in 1906 at the Panama Canal wearing one. The cool thing about them was in the black and white pictures, this white hat with a black, with a black band showed up really well in black and white photos. But remember, they're really Ecuadorian. The other cool part about this is, is it was a big week for us in the Panama Canal. Earlier this week on Sunday, a new line opened on the Panama Canal. It's wider and deeper, and it doubles the capacity of the barges and the material that can be shipped through the Panama Canal. Now, why is that important to us? Well, we got two reasons. First off, soybeans. 80% of the whole beans that are exported, and most of the, uh, most of the, the soybean exports are whole beans, those go to China. Over $10 billion worth of soybeans went to China in 2015, making them our number one trading partner for soybeans. How do they get there from the heartland? Through the canal. Same thing with corn. 95 billion bushels of corn went to China, making them the, our number three trading export partner. Pretty important. Now, I've included some links from where those stats came from in the uh, in the message of the email. I also included a link to the, the Panama Canal, uh, information about the Panama Canal. And how about a lesson? Think about using our corn exports visually, doubling for soybeans, and making that as a, as a make and take when talking about transportation. Well, let's get back to our wheat. As wheat harvest uh, gears up and is almost completed across Illinois, you know, it's kind of a rough wheat for for kind of a rough week for wheat as the FDA came out and said we shouldn't eat raw cookie dough because you shouldn't eat raw cookie dough because of the flour not because of the eggs but because of the flour because the the flour unless it's baked could contain traces of E. coli so you can't eat flour now how does that make it how does that make a difference to you and what you're doing I don't know if anybody makes Play-Doh, homemade Play-Doh from flour and a little bit of water and some Kool-Aid. You mix it together to make your own homemade Play-Doh. Probably shouldn't do that anymore either. It's one of those things. And, you know, at the same time, wheat has never been a genetically modified product. But we did have over 100 Nobel laureates signing papers urging people to start looking at the science behind GMOs if we're going to feed all the people. So that's our wheat hat, but I also want to put on our school hats. You know, it is Thursday, and as I'm filming this right now, the budget just passed. Now, we really don't know a whole lot about the budget. It's going to come through. We do know that it's a stopgap budget, and we should have some more information uh, coming shortly. It's good news for now. However, it gets us through December. <laughs> it took them a year to come up with this budget. How are they going to put together a budget in December? we'll see what happens. It is a good stopgap budget and that's pretty good and there's been a lot of pressure put on the legislature to actually get something done. Uh, yeah, because it's been a year since they did it. I'll give a shout out to Rova Schools. Rova Schools in Knox County. A shout out to Miss Aggie and Mary Beth Schools. They produced a video telling the legislators what could happen if we don't have a budget. So I've included that link for you as well. And you might have seen on social media some information from the, the School Alliance talking about, uh, through the State Board of Education, talking about the number of days that schools can stay open. Just like our facts with our GMO wheat, I encourage you, because there is no GMO wheat, I encourage you to look at the source and the numbers carefully. One of the things that happened when we look at those numbers is, the, the, the Alliance was reporting the, the amount of cash schools had on hand. 
Well, unfortunately, that's not always a good number because some of those funds are restricted and some boards have actually done some planning and have, have got uh, measures built in to protect some of their funds. Um, specifically our school district, I know this, they listed that said that we had extra funds on hand. However, we've already got money saved up for a new roof that we're going to put on, so we won't have to charge our taxpayers. But they said we could use that as operating funds, even though we're going to need a new roof, even though we're going to need new uh, heating systems and electrical and cooling systems. So I encourage you, just like in everything with education and agriculture, to dig a little bit deeper. But the good news is we can all breathe a sigh of relief because there is a budget. It has been passed. We've got some things to, to start thinking about. One of the things to, to think about, uh, deadlines, looming deadlines. Now the legislature passed their deadline, but you've got a deadline coming up on July 19th. A couple commonly heard questions I've heard from people as those grants start coming in and people start putting the finishing touches on them. Number one, remember your PR and your public relations aspect. Right now, the only thing that we can count are newsletters and actual news articles. So I need to have copies of your newsletters and your news articles. Now, your newsletters can be electronic kind. They're not newsy letters. It's not an email. It's a PDF attachment of a newsletter that's been shipped out. Secondly, what about your budget? Hey, folks, remember, <laughs> you have unrestricted funds, unlike the, uh, the school districts having restricted funds. You have unrestricted funds. Put down your budget. Actually, give us your spending, what you did in your expense report, but for your budget, it's your best guess. The same thing with your objectives, goals, procedures, and accomplishments. Some of the new folks out there, remember, if those weren't written by you, your accomplishment might be, we change directions. We didn't do this because we changed directions. It's okay to do that, but remember, you're, made, you're writing those goals, objectives, goals, procedures, accomplishments, based on the, the same five objectives that everyone has statewide was a, a little bit lighter week for us. We did some catch-up work in the office here. And next week, uh, Laura and Kevin will be the ones in the office. Other staff members are enjoying some, uh, some vacation time. We will be around uh, next week. And I uh, uh, hope you all have a great fourth holiday. If you have any questions about your grant, make sure you reach out to us. Thanks a bunch.